drug prices, pharmaceutical drugs that is. Do you ever think that when you're paying for your bill for drugs, it's far too high? Well, we're going to find out the answers to that because I am broadcasting from Secret, a bar on top of George in downtown Toronto. My guest today is Chris McLeod. He's not only a lawyer, he battles himself cystic fibrosis. He knows all about drugs. Welcome. Tell us, how do drug prices get priced in Canada? The trouble with drug pricing in Canada is it's becoming massively overregulated. The so Fed is that the provincial government or federal? Both. Ooh. The challenge, you not only have the provincial government involved, the federal government's involved, and they've created secondary agencies. The PCPA, the CADF, it's alphabet soup. And it's almost impossible for drug companies with innovative new drugs to break into the Canadian market. And what we really want is a negotiated price. If you're going to buy a Ford, or any car, you walk on and you negotiate the best deal possible for your family. Right. In Canada right now, they're, they're trying to implement legislation to preclude negotiation and force regulation of massively reduced prices on drugs, which so simply how, doesn't work. How does the government do that? How do a bunch of bureaucrats either sitting in Toronto or Saskatoon or Regina or Ottawa say, you should charge this much for that drug? Well, they've got a complex econometric model they of use, course. and nobody understands it. But the scariest piece of it all is this hasn't gone through Parliament. It's amendments to regulations on what they call the Patent Medicine Race Review Board. Does this hold back drugs that otherwise would be available to people? Correct. And does it make some drugs too expensive? It makes some drugs not even possible for the company to put them into the Canadian market because the regulated price, the government's saying to them, we want a 97% price reduction if you were to come into our country to sell that drug. The company said, look it, we can't reduce it, so we have a 3% coverage. Right. Nobody works for 3 right? 5%. So uh, we're just being left behind right now on the CF drug. 20 countries have negotiated deals. It's held up at the Canadian border. So Canadians are not being served well by this process. No. In other words, people are either paying too much or they can't get the drug at all. But Stephen, there's no political leadership. It's a vacuum, and the bureaucrats have filled the vacuum. That's why result, you're here today. That's why I'm here Because it's a big problem. It's so a massive what problem. What should happen? Political leadership. Someone needs to stand up and say, we're going to negotiate prices down. Yes. Not regulate them out of existence. Okay. Chris McLeod, that's the answer. Thanks for joining us. Thanks that's for That's the three minutes. Thank you for watching. We are going to continue to broadcast from the secret bar here on top of the George Restaurant Courtyards on Queen Street East in Toronto. In these days where politicians are spending a lot of your money, Parliament's not sitting, it's important to have an independent news source. That's what we are doing. We hope you subscribe.